I wanted to. I wanted to fly a Spaceship One, White Knight One, space flight during the evening air show. You have the airplane and spaceship captive that takes off between the two biplane acts that go. <laughs> they all do the same maneuvers and they land, you know. And then you do, and you do four more biplane acts. And then you look up and you see a contrail. It's actually a rocket motor trail. And we've seen them all from Mojave. It's a spectator sport to watch a space launch with Spaceship One. You see the contrail from the launch airplane, and then you see this different color trail from the rocket motor. And when Mike had the departure and all the rolls, you could see with the naked eye the little blips in the roll. If you had binoculars on, you see it great. And you could tell that the airplane is spinning. Of course, the XPRIZE guys had a big TV monitor that shows it spinning. <laughs> camera on the airplane. Um, then later, you don't see anything until you actually hear a very soft sonic boom. And it's very soft because that airplane goes subsonic way up at above 80 or 90,000 feet. So it isn't that sharp boom that you would get with a, with a fighter or a, or a Concorde. And then you can see the, the chase planes joining up on them. And it's a glider. And it takes anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes to glide down, depending on whether they want to spend a lot of time at low speeds or whether they want to get down in a hurry. All right? And you watch it come straight overhead as a glider and circle around. And when it's there on downwind, you bring in the last, uh, the most recent biplane act that's going. Rrr, rrr, rrr. Okay, you get him out of the way because the spaceship can't go around. <laughs> and then uh, it lands and you, it's a no skid, you know, it has wheel steering and then you pull off here where that guy's out there right now. And you go out and shake the hand of, of, uh, of the space test pilot and of two people that are now astronaut number 477 and 478, right? And, uh, and as soon as they clear the runway, then another biplane takes off and it goes around. <laughs> okay? And I thought, well, this is a cool thing to do. And it's, of course it's safe to do. But you know, the FAA doesn't have the sense of humor that I have. <laughs> Burp for over and and when we suggested that to them, they, it looked like they were having a heart attack. <laughs> okay, we got to cut this short here in a second because we got to move some aircraft on. This guy by the name of Mike Melville, you may have heard of him. He's got to fly this afternoon, and they got to move the planes out. We're all in the way. So. We got to get these airplanes out of here to fly. Okay, yeah, uh, I guess we have to we have to push it out. Okay, thank you. Thank you.